Feel that? So, have you ever used a TENS unit before? Yeah. My hands are the electrodes. Okay. We're pulling the voltage through you instead of putting the voltage into you. Does that make sense? Yeah. So we, we have to find something similar that we understand to make it make sense. This is the best comparison I've got because it's unlike anything you've probably ever actually tried. So this is tempered by my surface area. We can go two hands, we can go two fingers. That same amount of power is moving through you, out into my hands, into this grounding mat that I've got around my, around my waist, and then into an outlet. So, this isn't actually where we do our work. We're gonna do our work here on the vagus nerve to start. So we're gonna set this down. You are going to twitch. You are going to pulse. That's okay. The biggest thing is that you breathe deeply and you ride the wave. If you can do that, then we start to kind of loosen up, rest, digest, relax, breathe deeply, be in more control of our own healing. And then after we've done that, we can go to work on the soft tissue. and crazy, right? Have you got anything that needs work? Mine, I like, I did it a year ago, it's not like a stone herniated, but I herniated like C4 or C7. Okay. So I, and like right now I just feel like my traps are tight. Um, and then my right knee, I have a little bit of a jumper's knee. It's all tight and it's like a little bit. Gotcha. Let me step around the other side of the table and see about that, see about those traps. Alright, so we're going to tap in right here on the neck. I'm going to find, sorry, I'm going to find some skin so that we can actually temper this a little bit. So. You've got some kind of sports bra on under this? Not really. It's a little lacy. We're gonna leave the shirt on then. I like worked out before this and I wanted to change, but this is all I've found. I got you, you're good. A little bit harder to reach, but we're gonna be just fine. So all the while we're moving here, I'm feeling the fascia, feeling the tissue, figuring out what's extra hard, what's got adhesions to it, breaking it up, and then I come back and retest, see if that trap moves a little bit better. As we break through issues, they should kind of smooth out how quickly and how efficiently those muscles flow. about what you're feeling, what we're doing. Can you feel the, the specific muscles that he's touching? Like, yeah. Can you, the insertion like, or resonation? When I hurt my neck, when I hurt the worst was my like, left rib and strap, which is like basically what you're on right now. And it's so he's just sending. So what we can do, let me slow this down. Because it's more. So if I slow it down. If I slow it down, we can get into that levator scapula and actually give it a little better function. So I want you to flatten this hand on the table, take that right arm and reach around your back to grab the elbow. Then you're going to turn your head right. She's a regular. So as we start to kind of break this up a little bit, you should feel that levator start to work a little bit better. I'll say my feelings are always in the What's that? Like my scalings are like two things. Isn't that crazy? You feel the actual scalings. Like, I try to start to my scalings all the time. Because I get so... It gave me such a better idea of where muscles were. Yeah, absolutely. Because you can feel it even going 
go to the attack. You get that contraction from one attachment to the other. This is Hannah. She does neurosomatic massage. Ooh. Yeah, I went to CNS. So I'm familiar with like the beamer. Where'd you go? The CNS. They have like St. John's Park and all that stuff. Are you familiar with Patricia Figueroa? Yeah. 